that those that perform interventions are just sort of, you know, block jockeys, that all they're interested in is performing injections for revenue purposes. That most who perform injection therapies and procedures uh, do so with good intent and with the idea that these particular interventions will improve the quality of life of those who seek them out. The other misconception is that it's primarily that the injections are done for revenue generating purposes because they typically generate more revenue than seeing a patient would be would in a consultation setting or in a return visit type of setting. And I think that most reasonable and rational physicians, pain physicians and practitioners who perform interventions um, have the money in mind, as we all do, less so if you're in an academic setting, but, but still, I, I think that that's not really the prime reason for doing them. I really do think that it's to improve the quality of human life. The third would be that the interventions are done because a colleague asks us to do them, because uh, you know, patients expect 100% relief. I mean, these, this is something that's not real. I mean, in the sense that rarely can we provide 100% relief from these interventions. Um, colleagues do send patients to us when everything else sort of fails and they expect the injections to be miracle workers, and they're not. And I think that patients sometimes feel like, well, gosh, if I have an injection, it's gonna take my pain away forever, and I'm gonna have a life that I never did. I think it's, they certainly can improve quality of life, and I've seen that firsthand over many, many years. They're not miracles. Um, and I think that's somewhat of a misconception too, but they can make someone in chronic pain feel better, help them improve their lives in ways that they hadn't imagined before, and do things that they couldn't do before, and that's terrific.